Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 3 power x equals 3. We are solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. So let's start with this first method. I can rewrite this negative 3 as negative 1 times 3. So this will be negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of x, and this equals 3. Now, if you have a times b, raised to the power of c. This equals a power c times b power c. I will have negative 1 or x times 3 power x equals 3. Now, if you have e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. From here, I have e power i times pi equals negative 1. And there's negative one here. I can easily replace it with e power i times pi. This is raised to the power of x times to the power x, and this equals three. Right now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I multiply this exponent, I will have e power i times pi x times 3 power x equals 3. Now let's apply natural log. I have natural log of e power i times pi times x times 3 power x equals natural log of 3. No, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So this is my a, this is my b. That means I will have natural log of b power i times pi times x plus natural log of 3 power x and equals natural log of 3. Also from here, if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So this comes behind this, and also the x comes behind natural log. So we have i times pi x natural log of b plus x times natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So from here, natural log of e is 1. This can so this so have i times pi x plus x times natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. x here, x here, I can factor that out. I divide this by x, I have i times pi plus divide this by x, I have natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. So, at this point, I can isolate x. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 3. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 3. So, what happens is this eliminate this. If x equals natural log of 3, divide by i times pi plus natural log of 3. So, this can be our solution for now. Now, let's consider another method of solving this exponential problem. We have negative 3 power x equals 3. I also replace negative 3 with negative 1 times 3. Negative 1 times 3 power x equals 3. Now, I can simply apply natural log. I have natural log of negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of x equals natural log of 3. And don't forget the fact that if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So the x will come behind this. So we have x times natural log of negative 1 times 3 equals natural log of 3. Now, Remember, 
if you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. So if you take the squares, this eliminate this, I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So this place here, we are going to replace it with i power 2. And we have x times natural log of i power 2 times 3 equals natural log of 3. So, I copy it down here. Add x times natural log of i power, i power 2 times 3 equals natural log of 3. Now, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So this is my a, this is my b. That means I will simply have x times natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 3 equals natural log of 3. I can isolate x by dividing this by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 3. I also divide this by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 3. So this cancel this. I have my x equals natural log of 3 divided by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 3. Now, if you have natural log of i power 2, this equals 2 times natural log of i. This can't be handy. So, that means I'm simply going to have x equals natural log of 3 divided by 2 times natural log of i plus natural log of 3. So, we have our answer this way as well. Now, we have two different answers but they are the same. Using this method, I have my x equals natural log of 3 divided by 2 times natural log of i plus natural log of 3. Or also, I have this other answer here. Natural log of 3 divided by i pi plus natural log of 3. So you have 2 times natural log of i, and here you have i times pi, which is the same. 2 times natural log of i is the same as i times pi. So if you do that, that means the both solutions are the same. So guys, this is it. And this is how you are going to solve this exponential problem. And that is it, guys. See you again.